Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about interview processes. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story to, and the story went something like Frederick last week I went to a job interview where I had four different interview meetings and by the end of the interviews I started getting tired of by, by ask, having the, all these conversations and on the last interviewer, the, they t told me that they were surprised that I didn't ask as many questions as, this, as, they, as they had hoped, so they dismissed me even though I had asked a lot, a lot of questions and shown a lot of interest in the beginning of the process. Is this something that happens? And the short answer is yes, all the time. All the time. I would be I, I, I would be surprised if you went through let's finding a new job let's say that you're fi getting a new job like every time you're gonna find a new job and you might have a few options out there unless you're like directly going to one specific company you are gonna find at least a few interviews where you lose that job based on only the gut feeling of the person who's making the evaluation. I promise you that's gonna happen more than once. And the reason for this is very simple. This is because this is exactly why I've told you so many times in other, other videos that don't take it personal if you don't get the job. Don't, like, um, don't believe that just because a company has some ludicrously high standards or at the very least that they promote that they have ludicrous high standards on coding challenges and technical challenges and interviews and all that stuff that they have any fucking clue how to evaluate you accurately or that they don't make mistakes because the reality of the situation is guys that when you are interviewing a candidate for a job position you have a limited amount of time to figure out because you don't have, the, have enough of their time and you don't have your, enough of your own time to go through an, a lengthy process where you really get to know somebody. You, you don't have time to do something that would be considered completely fair. So at the end of the day, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna design your own process and hope and based on your own value system each company has their own value system sometimes they copy paste this is what google or facebook or whatever other company is doing and they do it that way and then you're just going to call that good enough and that's what a lot of people that's what everybody does everybody has some pre-assumptions about how to figure out something and this is you no know, it's no different in the companies it doesn't mean that if you fail their interview that you're a bad developer it just simply means that you <coughs> during uh, under those circumstances given that exact context you weren't good enough from their perspective and this can come down to you not knowing your stuff or maybe not being especially good at one specific area of programming and all of this stuff i've heard it so many times before where people felt that this is unfair it's not it's uh, i could have done better and i didn't get another chance and i go yeah all of this is true everything is true and i will sit here and i well i don't want to listen to you anymore about and about this because i've said that so many times it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because the interview is already over and they don't care if they were fair to you or not. They care about that the person that they hire is somebody they want on the inside of things. And even if that means that they themselves don't realize that they have a really shitty interviewing process, well, once again, it doesn't matter because they are the ones in the power position. They are the ones who are making the call. If they wanted, wanted to, I mean, shit. If they were were to have the attitude that oh we only hire developers based on based on if they I don't know worked in a circus before are you going to be upset with them then no you're probably going to laugh at them but and so here sit down and laugh at them because that's exactly how ridiculous the notion is that someone as an interviewer can't realize that if you have put a candidate through four interviewing steps most likely spanning more than a few hours because if you're going to talk with four people in an interviewing process that's going to take at least a half a day 
that's just I'm just assuming things here because I wasn't in the the subscribers interviewing process, of course. But that's usually where to what we're talking about. I always think it's a reasonable thing to say half an hour, an hour at the very least per person, and. If you go the, pull them through that and you are surprised that they don't have all that many questions by the end of that process and you haven't synchronized with the other interviewers as part of that process so you know what they have been asking, are you dumb? Do you have absolutely no cons like no understanding that someone might be mentally fatigued by this process? You're coming fresh into the meeting with someone who's been to three meetings already and you think that you're gonna get what? Someone who's like super energetic and just, wow, I'm so happy that you're forcing me to sit here for so many hours and answer all like all these questions to to work here. Like it's, I'm sorry, but this is a classic example of a really shitty interviewing process. I can give you one of my own stories. I was at, and this was a really, really prestigious company. People have been asking me many, many times, how, what should I think about in order to get a job at this company? And I say, well, you know, it's uh, just make sure that, because I, I can't give them anything that is going to help them all that much. Because at the end of the day, when I was at this interviewing, uh, I was at these interviews. It came down to the exact same problem as, I was, as the subscriber was explaining. So I was put in a meeting room with two guys. I had been, I had been there for half a day or something like that. I interviewed with several people, had a lovely time, and then I went into one meeting at the end there. And this is after me passing the code test, passing some weird logic test where I have to put dots in some, I don't know how that's related to programming, but it is. They were swore that it was. Talking to the manager with like a personal interview, talking to uh, these two other guys where I had to do live coding with them and like comment and just have, you know, I've literally been there since morning and it's like right after, about right after lunch now. And I get to one meeting with two people who explain to me, Frederick, we want you to do a coding, like a role playing exercise with us. And then they say that, oh, and we are two stakeholders who want to buy a product from you. And we want you to walk you, us through how you're going to build that product. And I go, uh, okay, that's kind of vague because there's a lot of questions for me here. Like what type of stakeholders are you and so forth. And they say, oh, no, no, don't worry. We don't have all that much time. Like, yes, let's just go. So I go and I think, okay, this is an exercise in how good I am at communicating with customers. That's my assumption. And so I start using really broken down terms and I go, well, you know, a front end application is something like this and we're going to do this and we're going to do this. And I really break it down to a level where I, I would feel very comfortable talking to a non-technical person in this manner. And I have talked to a non-technical person in this manner many, many times and they have appreciated uh, the fact that I actually walked them through how it's going to work. And but like right before the end, one of the guys just blurts out, well, oh, but Frederick, like uh, you, you can like use technical terms with us. Like we, we are stakeholders that have a technical understanding. I go, are you fucking kidding me? So you have neglected to tell me that what you're testing, f testing is literally how well, I, it's not a test in how I can interact with a stakeholder because you didn't tell me that. It's a test in how do I handle architecture? Do I understand how to design a well networking system? And that's two minutes, it's two minutes left now of the meeting. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that. And so I tell them, all right, I, I'm sorry, I assumed that what you were after was like, because you didn't tell me. Oh, and they go, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. And then I go into the last meeting where I'm now in a situation where the hiring manager, I have to, ex like, he is really dis uncomfortable with hiring me. And he tell I actually, and he actually tells me that we well, have been a little bit worried about that by, by your performance and so forth. And I, can, and I just stop him and I say, let me guess, you are unsure if I even know how to code. And my guess is that the reason why you're unsure is because in my last meeting, it didn't go so well. And he said, yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, this is the problem. The interviewing process is shitty. It's shitty for every single company and you don't really have a way of making anything. You can't do anything about it apart from just 
trying to do your best and hope and really only hope that the company is smart enough to understand how to structure a well working process. If they haven't, you, you're kind of up shit creek. There's nothing you can really do about it except for being transparent and trying your best. So what I want you to take away from this is that it is extremely normal that a interviewing process is shitty or that it's unfair. And most of the time it comes down to the gut feeling of a single person. And it can, it, it doesn't matter guys how bad the process is because at the end of the day they are trying to evaluate based on whatever process they have if you're good or not. And so if you don't get the job or if you're if you're in this such a situation, just laugh it off because they're dumb. They're dumb as fuck. And they've probably lost, I don't know how many people to this stupid process. And honestly, just walk, just walk away and go to the next interview and hopefully you'll deal with a company that actually knows how to hire people. Have a great day.